nursing is an incredibly dynamic and beautiful profession. We are there on the front lines of care, meeting people where they are at, at the best of times in their lives, but then also at the very most difficult and challenging times of people's lives. We want to be in a position where we're meeting people that we are joyful and feel fulfilled about what we're doing and that will allow for better care and better care of ourselves. The ABCs is the mechanism for bringing the concept of infusing joy to life. Awareness, balance and purpose, and co-creation. These are all taking place simultaneously to infuse joy effectively. The A part stands for awareness. Awareness is about mastering your craft, being aware of your surroundings and where you're at and what you need to be successful. At the end of the day, you want to feel like you are in a position to, to take responsibility of what you need to do your job in the best capable way. The second element is to achieve or attain balance and purpose. Balance and purpose is on the individual to think about where they're at in their life cycle professionally, but also where they're at outside of work because in order to achieve balance it's just not about who you are as a nurse it's about who you are as a person and what is your purpose where you're at purpose could be many things at different parts of your life but once you have that purpose and it, it fuels you it provides you with energy mental energy and physical energy to achieve things and that brings joy in your environment the third element is co-creation. And this is about creating an environment that allows for people to be aware and to have balance and purpose, to be successful. And that's taking a systems approach to infusing joy. Meaning that it, it, it can't be just nursing. It's about leaders sustaining a culture and developing a culture that will allow for the infusing of joy. My hope is that nurses can really understand and get the power and the wonder of nursing and what we do each day to make this incredible difference in the individuals and the world around us. Having that joy and seeing how that joy is, is interconnected. Good afternoon. My name is Melinda Wildermuth and I am the treasurer of the Cairo chapter of Sigma Theta Tau. Welcome to the induction ceremony for Cairo chapter and thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. This event is being live streamed on Facebook and YouTube and we welcome all of those who are joining um, via Facebook and live stream um, with us. I would like to take a moment to introduce our chapter leaders and the honored guests who are here with us today. I'd like to introduce Dr. Chris Kessel, who is our president of our chapter. Um, Joanne McNeil is our vice president. She is not able to be in attendance today. Morgan Fredrickson is our secretary, and she is not able to be in attendance today. Meg Dean is our counselor. Kim Perry is our webmaster. Teresa Wishman is our dean of nursing and health sciences. And a very special thank you today to Matt Oles, who is our college educational technologist and web specialist. And we appreciate your help with this event so that we can live stream and our, our family and friends can join us. So thank you, Matt. Let's begin our induction. For more than 90 years, Sigma 
has been recognizing and celebrating excellence in scholarship, leadership, and service within nursing and midwifery. The Otter Society, today known as Sigma, was founded as Sigma Theta Tau in 1922 by six nursing students at Indiana University. From those six founding members, our organization has grown to more than 135,000 members in more than 500 chapters in over 100 countries around the world. Sigma also collaborates with several global organizations to improve the health of the world's people, including representation at the United Nations. This offers members the opportunity to extend their reach outside of their own communities. We are excited and filled with pride today to welcome our new inductees into our diverse and global membership. Sigma members are leaders at all levels of the healthcare industry. The society only extends membership to students in baccalaureate or graduate level programs who have demonstrated superior academic achievement, academic integrity, and professional leadership potential, and to nurse leader candidates exhibiting exceptional achievements in nursing. Our membership includes top-notch nursing executives, clinicians, educators, researchers, policymakers, entrepreneurs, and others. You are among this distinguished group of nurses, students, and professionals who have met or exceeded the rigorous standards required to receive an invitation to join Sigma, and you truly deserve our congratulations. The leadership and scholarship that you have displayed represent the essence of the society. Together, we are Sigma. Our founders chose the Greek letters Sigma, Theta, Tau, taken from the Greek words meaning love, courage, and honor, as they believed them to be the enduring values that are at the root of the nursing profession. Our crest, which adorns your membership certificate, symbolizes these enduring values, reminding us of our commitment to wisdom and discernment, as represented by the eye, service, professional endeavor, and strength of leadership, as represented by the pillars of stone at the right and left, and knowledge, as represented by the lamp. Our key, embedded in the membership pin, reminds us of our charge to uphold love, courage, and honor, and is a symbol of scholarship. The cup denotes the satisfaction of professional life. The circle with its six stars represent our six founders. The lamp is the lamp of knowledge, and the letters in black represent our charge. Remember that our key symbolizes your commitment to nursing excellence. The purpose of this ceremony is not only to honor you as a new member and celebrate your successes, but it also serves as our pledge to you to support you throughout your nursing career and to be a lifelong resource for you. This support will come in part through the opportunity to participate in Sigma's communities of interest, mentoring programs, and academies. You will also have access to benefits such as nursing continual, pro continual pro professional development courses, the Journal of Nursing Scholarship, World Views on Evidence-Based Nursing. Your induction is not the end, the culmination of your scholarly or professional achievements. Instead, your induction signifies the beginning of your membership journey, the start of your involvement within a global network of peers and mentors who are here to guide you and support you wherever your nursing career may take you. At this time, we will receive into membership these outstanding new members. Inductees, please stand as we recite this pledge together. Please accept the privileges and responsibilities of Sigma membership 
by repeating after me. I accept membership in Sigma Theta Tau International. And I pledge to fulfill its commitment. And I pledge to fulfill its commitment to nursing excellence, knowledge, service, and leadership throughout my career. To nursing excellence, knowledge, service, and leadership throughout my career. Thank you, inductees. You may be seated. Please help us congratulate and recognize these Cairo chapter new members. I will ask the Cairo board members to please come to the table at this time. Inductees, as I call your name, please come forward to pick up your certificate and to sign the book. Jacob Appleman. Francesca Valentine. Madison Campbell. Jake Fetzner. Jess Spiegel. Haley Gallagher. Elise Garcia. Briley Coberline. Marissa Kronfeld. Catherine Kwame. Lindsay Lee. Jamie Mendoza. Alyssa Penjwani. Marikar Panlasigi. Rachel Perry. Hannah Quick.
Jordan Skelly. Ashley Slate. Shelby Stover. Bailey Swanson. And Batil Yemeniab. Congratulations to these new Sigma members. Give yourselves all a hand. Thank you. Now that you are official members of Sigma, the opportunities to become involved, to grow, and develop as leaders, and to contribute to the nursing profession are virtually endless. Personally, I have enjoyed being actively involved by serving as treasurer of the Cairo chapter and participating in service events, such as volunteering for Dress for Success Quad Cities and the Riverbend Food Bank. In 2019, I attended the International Sigma Convention in Washington, DC, where I learned about evidence-based strategies in nursing education and networked with some wonderful friends and colleagues. Each of you will experience membership in your own way. In fact, Sigma membership is an experience that is yours to design. I hope that you will make use of the many opportunities that membership has to offer. Not only do you have the opportunity to be involved locally, but there are opportunities to participate in this global organization on a regional and international level as well. Each biennium, Sigma installs a new president at the international level. At the 45th Biennial Convention, we proudly installed Richard Ricciardi, PhD, CRNP, FAANP, FAAN, and introduced him as the 33rd Sigma president. Each president presents a call to action to help guide members and chapters as we strive to fulfill the Sigma mission. President Ricciardi calls us to infuse joy in all we do. All healthcare workers face challenges that can trigger burnout, such as staffing shortages, incivility or violence, lack of control in the workplace, barriers to education, and misaligned policies and regulations. Instead of viewing these issues as insurmountable and inevitable, he asks us to seize the opportunity to improve our experiences and work cultures. As Sigma members, we are well positioned to infuse joy into practice in clinical, administrative, research, and policy settings. President Ricciardi's call to action highlights three essential elements, the ABCs that promote joy, awareness, balance and purpose, and co-creation. Awareness includes a clear understanding of the knowledge, skills, and abilities needed to fulfill our professional responsibilities and achieve our goals. When we are competent, confident, and have mastery over our work, joy can flourish. Achieving balance and purpose requires us to make time for creativity and serendipity, mindfulness and rest, Activities that foster health and well-being, such as gratitude, service to others, and philanthropy. Co-creating includes relationship building, using team science, 
recognizing interdependencies, having a shared mental organizational model, taking pride in one's own work, and instituting policy initiatives to support a joyful organizational culture. As competent, confident nurses acting with balance and purpose, we can take the next step to infusing joy. I would encourage you all to learn more and participate in fulfilling President Ricciardi's call to action by visiting Sigma's website, sigmanursing.org. The website includes activities for members and chapters that are designed to help infuse joy in our work. As we conclude our ceremony, I want to take a moment to recognize and thank all who joined today's event to celebrate this special occasion. So let's have another round of applause. <laughs> Once again, I want to congratulate and welcome our newest Sigma members. We welcome you into this prestigious and global network of nurses working every day to change lives and advance health care. Following this ceremony, the Cairo chapter will be having its spring 2021 continuing education for members and non-members. We will listen to two graduate students in the Direct Entry Nursing Generals program present their MSN projects. All are welcome to, sit, to stay. And at this time, I would invite Dean Teresa, Teresa Wishman um, to say a few words of congratulations. I just wanted to congratulate you all being inducted into Sigma shows that you have demonstrated outstanding academic achievement um, during your nursing program. And not only that, this year you did it in the middle of a pandemic. And as many struggles that happened throughout the year, changing of schedules, everything being moved online, you guys still excelled and achieved um outstanding work in your classes in clinical and not very many people are going to be able to say that so again congratulations we look forward to seeing what you do as nurses and hopefully um becoming involved um uh, in sig in sigma thank you all and congratulations <clears throat> Thank you, Dean Wishman. At this time, this concludes our ceremony, but you are all invited to stay um, for the education event. So congratulations, and thank you, and um, best, best wishes, congratulations, and good luck to all of you.